Everyone, welcome back. Day 20, day 20 of our 30 days to a better backswing. Yeah, yesterday we got into strength training. Uh, John had one of those core balls out today. He's got some dumbbells out. Uh, yeah, maybe you don't have the equipment, uh, but if you're if you're if you're on day 29 and you're watching these videos, that means you're either a player who has passion to improve uh, and you could probably spend three or four hundred dollars on a driver uh, without question. Yeah, getting a little bit of equipment um, is just as important as getting that new driver and um, dumbbells, core ball, but you can be creative. Uh, water bottles, little water bottles. I, I, I find when I do these exercises, Jonathan's a little stronger than me, but I find these exercises just putting a couple of uh, small water bottles in my hand provide the same feeling and the same load. Uh, you know, maybe a bigger water bottle, putting some handles on it with a bit of tape. You can be creative and make some of these uh, sandbags, make some of these, these, these pieces of equipment you need to provide the same benefits and the same feelings as what you're seeing Jonathan doing. So, yeah, if you're, I think if anybody's still watching here, you're serious about your golf. If you're a coach still watching, you're, you're a serious coach, you're wanting to try to help your players. Having a little bit of equipment at your academy is going to be a benefit to you. As always, I'm here with Jonathan from the Gray Institute. Uh, definitely, the, in our opinion, the leaders in functional movement globally. Uh, we're lucky to have him. Um, I think people are already, great comments, people are already seeing the benefits in their golf and, and in their knowledge. I'm here to help you. If you stay tuned to the end, I'm here to give you a bit of insight how these exercises are connected to the swing and maybe some of the tendencies you're seeing in your own swing. But if you've just tuned in and you need to catch up, head over to the Google Player App Store, search Golf Zone Led Better, download the app. All the videos before this are uploaded there. The future videos are uploaded there and there's lots of other cool content on that app as well. So please download the app. That's where you can stay up to date. So let's see what Jonathan's got for us today. Got a couple of dumbbells in the sand. Curious to see uh, what's going on. You know, so we're now at a nice strength phase, all right? And uh, yesterday we talked about starting with load um, and in strength training, how it's great to have both feet on the ground and have both hands on that load, okay? But now we're gonna move into single arm, okay? So we're not gonna be using both arms anymore. We're gonna be moving to single arm, but we're gonna take advantage of the same strategy, keeping our feet on the ground but and not moving around yet. But if you remember, we, did some cool things with our feet, right? We kind of got in our golf posture and we did things where we turned in our toes. So now it's like really working on the mobility because you have this huge amount of internal rotation of this right hip. Well, when you internally rotate your foot, you've taken up some of that motion. So now to get your hips and your pelvis to make a nice turn, you're really working on enhancing your ability to kind of then when you go here, whoa, it's easy to make that hip turn, okay? Same thing, we turned our feet out, which now we've externally rotated our feet, turn them out, which then there's a lot of external rotation of that left hip right there, okay? That lead hip that has to happen to get into that backswing. So now all of a sudden again, when you come back to your feet here, boom, whoa, easy, okay? So that's really cool. You know, there's a couple other ones. I, you know, I think uh, we should go ahead and play around with while we do these single arm swings, okay? So first of all, if your feet are normal, what you want to do is just go ahead and you can have one dumbbell in your hand, two dumbbells in your hand. You can go ahead and kind of work that on up there, make a nice turn, okay? I think it's important to be authentic where you let the let the dumbbell rotate, okay? So you don't wanna keep it, the dumbbell going up this way, okay? You wanna go ahead and let it rotate, okay? So you're swinging that thing on up there, swinging it on up there, okay? You got the other arm too, right? So that one can, now that's kinda of coming on across that way, right? Okay? So those are some really, really good things, okay? The dumbbells are great, all right? And especially for this arm right here, this lead arm working that nice straight arm. But I wanna show you something. I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna grab, step out of the camera for a second, sorry, but I'm gonna grab a sandbag. Because the sandbag is great for working on that authentic kind of bending and platter position that you get into the top of the swing. So you can start working right through there, right? Okay, so that's just gonna be some great strength training for your shoulder, for your grip strength even. Um, so it's a great, great exercise, all right? So now let's say, let's not go regular stance anymore, let's go wide. So let's get real wide with our stance, all right? Working into the, you can even go there to here, so you can kind of alternate. Okay, 
It's a great little exercise right there. Then you can go narrow, okay? So when you went wide, you probably felt it was a little harder to get through that left hip there. Now we can go narrow, okay? Take away a little bit of our base of support. And now it's kind of positioning us in a way that kind of works on more of this trail hip right here, okay? But again, work that sandbag, sandbag, sandbag. You work that nice straight arm going for that width. You can kind of alternate them. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, as Gary Gray would say, you can have a party with these. So um, it's a fun way to start progressing up uh, when you start using load and start strength training for golf, going to single arm uh, variation. So give that a try. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah, progressing is, is the right word there. So uh, when you connect this to what we've been doing in the other uh, 19 days, some of the improvements in mobility and stability, the awareness of the movements, and you can start connecting this to making these arm motions, which are, are going to feel just like a golf swing. So when he's, when I, when uh, Jonathan's going through those, uh, he's got the left arm going up. He's also loading into that trail glute, into that trail hip, just the way we want. He's back into the hip. He's got that rotation. He's got that little bit of lateral lateral flexion to the right. He's got that stability as he's hold, as he's taking the load of the weight. Um, again, with with the, with the right arm, you've got the sandbag. Again, you, 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 when the sandbag flips over or the weight tries to carry your arm, you're going to feel that little bit of stretch in, in that external rotation. We can help the transition. There's so many things here, so many elements of a backswing that can help. So many tendencies. This can help probably any tendency you've got in your backswing, uh, this is going to help with. Uh, one thing I would like to add there, Jonathan said, he said, let's keep it authentic to the golf swing, which is absolutely great advice. You know, we, we like to see a little bit of rotation to the arms to keep the club on playing, but connect it to your own swing. Let's just say, let's just say if you're a player who gets too much rotation to your arms, let's say you overly rotate your arms, you see the club in this flat position on the way back, Maybe when you're doing the exercise, you tweak it to suit your own tendencies. You might try to resist that rotation with the right arm, holding the dumbbell, not letting it turn over. So when you're going through these through these motions, you're resisting that load flipping over. So then when you pick up your club, you, you feel the opposite. You can get the club on a little bit of a steeper plane on the way back, helping you address some of your personal tendencies in your swing. Tweaking the stance might not look like much, the wide, the narrow, but you'll feel differences in your hips, right? As I say, when it's wide and we're shifting to the right, we're, we're really challenging that, that uh, kind of lateral flexion in the hip this way, which is what we need to be able to load into our, into our trail uh, hip, as we're always talking about. When we go narrow, you'll be able to sense a bit more load into this hip as well, maybe the, the rotation back. So tweaking that you'll you'll sense differences some will feel more easy some will feel some will feel easy some will feel more difficult like we always say these are great exercises but they're also tests if you listen to your body you'll start to understand your strengths and weaknesses and maybe at the end of the 30 days start to create your own personalized program that you go through every week to enhance your backswing in that transitional zone so yeah they're just great exercises you've almost got to do it you've almost got to take yourself through it to see the benefit and see how this feels like golf it is golf and it's really going to help your golf <laughs>